Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about a tool that I found really helpful um, in ELEC 241, and that was LT Spice. And um, LT Spice, you're going to be introduced to it in both uh, your lab class, ELEC 240, but I found it useful to help um, verify that I answered uh, homework problems correctly in ELEC 241. So anyway, let's get into it. So as you can see here, here's LT Spice, and LT Spice is all about modeling circuits. And I built a simple circuit here, which consists of a battery and then two resistors. And what's the cool thing about uh, LT Spice is that you can actually run the circuit in real time. So if I click on this little run icon, I can actually click on different parts of the circuit and figure out what's going on. So if I want to know the voltage for, say, here, I can click on it. And uh, as you'll see, over time, it maintains a constant 10 volts. And that makes sense, right, according to uh, our understanding of, like, parallel resistors, right? All 10 volts has to go through both of the resistors. So at this node here, of course, we're going to see 10 volts. But it can do more than that, right? Maybe we want to know the current running through R1. So if I click on R1, I can figure out what the current is. And it turns out the current here is 10 amps. And I can see multiple currents at a time. So as you can see here, the current through R2 is not 7.5 amps, it's 5 amps. And the current through R1 is 10 amps. And that makes sense according to our um, understanding of parallel resistors. Since uh, this resistor has twice as much resistance compared to this resistor, it makes sense that half the current should be flowing through it compared to this one ohm resistor. But anyway, how did I actually build this circuit? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out and I'm going to build the circuit from scratch. So I'm going to close out of this. I don't need to save it. And we're going to open up a new schematic. So once you've downloaded LT Spice, you can follow these instructions. So click on new schematic. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down our voltage source. So we click on this um, little icon here, which will bring up a bunch of different components. And we can choose from any of these. So at some point, you guys will probably look at op amps. Um, you can do things like LEDs, even transistors if you want to. But we're looking for a battery right now. And uh, the term for battery in LT Spice is voltage. And it uh, essentially means voltage source. So we're going to choose that. And we're going to click to place it down on the schematic. All right, good. We placed um, a battery down. And you can right click in order to uh, get out of the tool. So the next thing we want to place down is a resistor, right? So if you go up here, you can see this icon that says resistor. So we're going to click on it. And then we're going to add in our two resistors. OK, good. So now um, we've managed to place down all our components. We want to wire it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this icon here, which is wire. And then you're just going to click and connect all the components. OK, good. So we've connected all the components. But we're still not done with this circuit. What else do we have to do? Well, we have to give our um, components some values, right? So here, let's right click on the voltage source. And when you right click, it's going to bring up this screen, which will allow you to input um, the voltage value. So I'm going to say it's a 10 volt battery. And you can right click on the resistors to do um, the similar thing. So if we want to say our uh, resistance is 1 ohm, we could just type in 1. If you wanted to do 1 kilo ohm, you could do 1K. And if you wanted to do 1 mega ohm of resistance, which is a pretty large resistance, you can even do 1 capital M or 1 capital meg. And that'll give you um, 1 mega ohm of resistance. I'm just going to leave it as 1 ohm. I'm going to do the same thing for R2. And I'm just going to say that this is 2 ohms. OK, good. So um, we've labeled all the components within our schematic. And at this point, you might think that the circuit's done and it's ready to start simulating. And unfortunately, that's not the case because um, SPICE requires that you uh, have a ground node within your circuit, right? Um, voltages are all about um, relative potentials to other places, right? So what we need to do is we need to specify where zero volts is. And so we're going to do that by um, clicking on this ground icon. And so when you bring up the ground icon, you're going to get this little triangle. And you want to um, place it near to where you want to um, put your zero reference point at. So I'm just going to place it here. And then I'm going to connect the ground to my circuit. And so what this is telling us is that all points um, connected to ground are now at zero um, volts. So now we have a reference point. So now that we know um, that up here, it must be 10 volts, right? Because the battery source goes from zero to 10 volts, right? Ground is all about reference. OK, good. Now we've completed our circuit. And uh, at this point, we'd want to simulate it. 
So what we're going to do to simulate a circuit is we're going to go up here and we're going to click on simulate. And we're going to click on this um, button that says edit simulation command. And for simple DC circuits like this, we're just running with a battery source and like resistors, capacitors, inductors. The easiest type of um, analysis to do is called transient analysis. And this basically allows you to view um, the circuit over time. So you can say, OK, I want to view my circuit um, for the first 10 seconds. So I'm going to put in 10 there. And I want to start saving um, how the circuit acts at time zero. And I want to make measurements um, every 0.1 second. So you can just enter in any values you want for that. And then you click OK. And it'll bring up this little um, box of text. And you can just click and place that anywhere on the screen. Um, that box of text is just to remind you what the parameters are of your test and um, the fact that you have a simulation ready to go. And so when you're finally ready to simulate, you've built the entire circuit, labeled everything, added in a ground node, and built your simulation command. You can finally click on the little run man, and that'll allow you to run the circuit. And then you can click anywhere on the circuit, just like I showed at the beginning of the video, to see what values are going on. And so I found this um, tool to be really useful when I was going over my homework prompts because then I could actually verify that my answer is correct and I could verify that my understanding was correct. So um, I hope you guys use this tool um, during your semester and I will see you guys in the next one.